Hi guys, Scott here from Tapas Paranormal and I'm back with day 16 of the Tapas Paranormal Christmas Advent Calendar. Yesterday we looked at Waverley Hill Sanatorium and today we're going to be looking at Hampton Court Palace. Located in the London borough of Richmond-upon-Thames, Hampton Court Palace is a Grade 1 listed building that originally began construction in 1915 after Henry VIII's Chief Minister Thomas Wolsey, the Archbishop of York, took over the site a year prior in 1914. Over the following seven years, Wolsey spent approximately 200,000 crowns to construct the finest palace in England. Built in a Renaissance style, and with little of this work being changed today. In 1529, Wolsey fell out of power with the king, and gave him the palace in an attempt to recover this. The palace went on to become a favourite of King Henry, with all six of his wives having visited the palace at different points. Upon acquiring the palace, the king began rebuilding and expanding the property, with the first improvement being that of several vast kitchens to help accommodate all of the king's court. All developments followed Wolsey's original design for the palace, being Gothic-inspired Tudor, with restrained Renaissance ornament. Between 1532 and 1535, Henry added the Great Hall and Royal Tennis Court to the property. A gatehouse on the property features the Hampton Court astronomical clock, which shows the time of day, the phases of the moon, the month, the quarter of the year, the date, the sun and star sign, and high water at London Bridge. This gatehouse is today known as Anne Boleyn's Gatehouse, named after Henry's second wife, who was beheaded while construction of apartments for her was underway. Henry's son and much desired male heir was born at the palace and the child's mother, Jane Seymour, died there two weeks later. While four years later, Henry was informed of the adultery of his fifth wife, Catherine Howard, while attending mass at the palace. Through the years, many further royal family members lived at the palace, and in 1649, the palace became property of the Commonwealth, presided by Oliver Cromwell. At this time, the palace fell into a state of disrepair before William III and Mary II embarked on a huge rebuilding project at the property. In an attempt to emulate the Palace of Versailles, architect Sir Christopher Wren was called upon to draw the plans, and William Talman was set to be master of the works. Though many of these plans were abandoned due to the the lack of obvious similarities between the two places, these can be seen on closer inspection. During this work, half the palace was replaced, in turn losing Henry VIII's state rooms and private apartments, and with new wings constructed around the fountained court containing new apartments. After the death of Queen Mary, King William lost interest in the renovations of the palace, and later died in 1702 after falling from his horse while on palace grounds. Since this time, further renovation has taken place, with architect William Kent adding the Queen's staircase in 1733. Today the palace is open to the public as a historical landmark and attraction. At least two of Henry VIII's wives are rumoured to haunt the palace, with his beloved third wife, Jane Seymour, who died after complications following childbirth, reported as being seen as a pale figure on the silver stick stairs, which led to the room where Jane gave birth. The second and more famed story is of Henry's fifth wife, Catherine Howard, who was beheaded at the tower in 1542, aged 19, for committing adultery and treason. It's claimed that after being captured and locked in her room at the palace, she broke free, with the terrified teenager running and screaming to the king, begging for mercy. The story goes that she never managed to find Henry, never seeing him again, as guards dragged her away and back to her room before she was beheaded. There are regular and common stories of Catherine's ghost being seen and heard repeating this heartbreaking journey, screaming throughout. Furthermore, a grey lady's been sighted at the property. This is thought to be the spirit of Sybil Penn, a servant to four Tudor monarchs who died of smallpox in 1562 and is buried at the palace. So, could this palace and residence to many members of the royal family be haunted by the ghosts of those that lived there? Could several of the wives of Henry VIII be haunting the palace? As the palace is open as a tourist attraction, there is potential that evidence could still be caught, and with common and regular sightings still taking place at the palace, it could just be a matter of time. But for now, I've been Scott from Tapas Paranormal, and this has been day 16 of the Tapas Paranormal Christmas Advent Calendar. I'll see you tomorrow for day 17.